the Cold Math Lady. Today we're talking about exponents. Now you might remember that exponents is essentially this little number that's in the upper right hand corner. And what does it tell us? It tells us how many times we should multiply this number by itself. So 3 squared means 3 times 3. We did it two times. But if I had 3 to the third, we would do 3 times 3 times 3. One of the common mistakes I see students make is they think it's a multiplication problem of simply multiplying the number times its exponent. So I'll see them do, oh, well, 3 squared equals 6, because they just do 3 times 2. Uh -uh. 3 to the third equals 9. 3 times 3. Uh -uh. It means take your number and multiply it times itself this many times. Here's two problems that have exponents. So first, what do they mean? And then we'll figure out the actual numeric answer. 2 to the fourth means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now let's do the math. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So 2 to the fourth equals 16. What about 3 to the fifth? It means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now let's do the math. 3 times 3 is 9. I'm going to do it like this. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 9 we know is 81 times this last one is a 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 8 times 3 is 24. 243. You don't have to do it numerically, you have to do it in a way that works for you. <laughs> so 243 is our answer there. We can also use exponents to help us write the answers that come out of our factor trees. Here's what I mean. If I told you to prime factor 48 and you said, okay, I'm going to use a factor tree, let's do it. Let's do 8 times 6. 8 times 6 is 48. Well, 8, hopefully by now you know that 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that one easy. 2 times 2 times 2, and I will circle them all because they are all prime. And let's do 6, which is 2 times 3, and I circle because they are prime. Instead of writing 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, we could just as easily write 2 to the 4th times 3. And we don't have to write to the first because if we don't have an exponent there, we assume it's a 1. 2 to the 4th times 3 would be your answer. And it becomes even more helpful the bigger your numbers get. So let's try it with 375. Well, I know that 5 goes into 375. Let's see how many times. 5 goes into 37 7 times. 2 is left over, which makes it a 25. 5 goes into 25. Five times. So 5 times 75 is 375, and we know that 5 is prime. Now, 75. What times what is 75? How about 25 times 3? Or let's do 3 times 25. 3 is prime, so I circle that. 25 is not, so I keep going. Boom, boom. 5 times 5. Circle, circle. Here we go. So we've got a 3. Go ahead and write that 3 down. We typically write it in numerical order. Times 1, 2, 3. There's three fives. So we're going to say 5 to the third power. Okay? There you go. Those are some useful ways that we can use exponents. So make sure you try the practice problems. I've given you a number of exponents to convert. And also a little factoring to see if you know how to write the factoring with an exponent. That's it for me, Nicole the Math Lady. I remember my name. <laughs> I will talk to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.